Hi, my sewing friends, and welcome back to my journey in stitches. So I wanted to come on tonight and show you what was in the little box of figs. So this is their new, I don't know if you call it a season, a season of little box of figs for 2022, and then it goes into 2023. So this is the spring box, box number one. So I have already opened it. I've had it a couple weeks, but I thought I would go ahead and show you what's inside before I start using some of the items in here. So let's go ahead and open it and take a look. So inside we have these cute snippy socks, Fig Tree & Co. It says fun socks to sew in. Aren't those adorable? We'll just make this video quick and just go through each item pretty quickly. And then there are some soaps and there's two soaps in this packaging and they're goat milk soap and they do smell quite lovely so we got those and then there's this little zipper pull let me open it so it almost looks like a vintage featherweight can you see it there it's pretty tiny but it is really cute And then we got four stickers. They are the same, but just two different colors. So those are cute. And I did notice on the box, so in the past they've had like a sticker on the front of the box, but it no longer has one. So maybe I would want to stick a sticker on my box there. And then we have, let me show you the patterns that the fabric is for. So it has this Everyday Zips bag, simple canvas baggies in three sizes for all your daily goodies. So it has a zipper for that. And of course your zipper pull. And from what I was reading, it looks like you actually use part of this pattern, but you make it into a a different style of bag because they sent instructions for that. So it looks like you use this, but you actually make a canvas bag. Let me read it. Extra project. For the extra project, we are making a customized canvas bag based on the Everyday Zips pattern. So here's our Everyday Zips pattern. For this project, you will use the canvas zipper, one mini charm, all included in the box. Follow the extra instruction sheet as well as the pattern provided for the bag. So that's why the extra instructions are in there for that. And the canvas was down here. Right there, it's pretty. Okay. And the other pattern is a tisket, a tasket. So it's cute little baskets. And the fabric for this one is one charm pack plus one matching mini charm. One matching mini charm stitch shown in cover sample or two matching charm packs. So small. Okay, sorry, I'm talking to myself here, confused. An eighth yard small red print. Then we have a, this is probably our background. Outer border, maybe this is our outer border and this is our background. That's what I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess this is our background and this is our outer border. That's what it looks like if you copy the pattern. Okay, and then I think this little charm pack was for the zipper bag, I'm assuming. Put these back in here. So overall, I think it's a cute box. This is, I've done one of these before, maybe 2017, 18, somewhere around there I did one of the little box of figs. So I thought it would be fun to do one again this year. 
I do love I do love that and I'm going to the reason I was going to take something out of my box was so I could put these socks on so I wanted to show the video of what I got before I put my socks on so that's what was in the little box of figs box number one for spring and thanks for watching and I do plan on being here in the morning to show you that quilt I was talking about that I made for my nephew so thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow bye